Oh my god, I haven't been outside in so long. It's so bright. Oh, what a horrible welcome. Bad for operation to get through. Oh god, oh god, hug a wall, hug a wall. Do something. The bats. I just love this thing that opened up on the freaking freeway. If only there was more straightaways. Oh my god. Yo, what's going on everybody? Riot's here just battling my way through this freaking cave because today we are getting every freaking insect known to scorched earth with this five times bigger stuff. At least I'm, at least I'm gonna, oh damn it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I forgot how scared the freaking bats were. I barely got into the goddamn cave, dude. I'm already, come on, come on, come on. I brought Bruiser to here, cause like, come on Bruiser, just just eat the bat, you're so freaking close, you guys are, it's, he's actually not that close, it just looks like it. But look, uh, now there's no lighting, cause I still haven't got my new light, and um, I'm in a cave, so there's no natural screen lighting. But, so I'm in the dark right now, but um, I mean logically the Perlovia should make it under the freaking wall, there is so much sense behind the strategic plan of mine. See, Crisco's not here today, he's busy healing up from another surgery thing, cause he got back to recording way too soon and basically had some issues with it but he'll be back very soon no one needs to worry it's just, he'll be he should be back in like a couple days literally all right so we got one bat done the mantis is probably the biggest issue in here Ooh, also check out my side channel if you haven't already i've uploaded so i found so many crazy like godzilla games no one's heard of that um honestly i just can't wait for godzilla vs kong to come out i've just been binging it on crazy kaiju games Actually, the strategy feels pretty perfect. Obviously, we could just weasel past these guys, but I'm not trying to crawl past them on a snail. It sounds like certain suicide. Is this a carcass? Holy shit! These things are so freaking jamungus. Whoop! Whoop! It's all fun and games until they get stuck on your face and then you freaking die. He seems pretty stuck right there, though. All in all, it seems to be going pretty good. I should just stop being lazy and make a bunch of fire grenades and be like, oh, this is gonna take forever, the freaking cowboy. I do have, like, a freaking ascendant assault rifle, too. I've just been too lazy to make a bunch of ammo for it, which is my own damn fault. But realistically, shotguns make the most sense in- oh, this is gonna take decades. I might just have to weasel past these guys. If they're so freaking stuck. Ah! Son of a bitch, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, with the schmeckle of health, you dumb bastard. Okay, so clearly, weaseling past this guy will not be a freaking opportunity. But it's like, come on, every insect being five times bigger and having five times more health? I'm gonna be here for 37,000 years, estimated. Don't ask me how I came to that mathematical conclusion. It's just the only logical number. Scorched Earth is a bastard too, because Ark's like, yeah, we provided you with some really good armor, but if you wear it, you'll die from being sweaty. So, <laughs> clever bastards. I feel like I can totally just weasel past, but I'm gonna go over there and get the snail of my dreams, come back out and get freaking sasasas on. It's so obvious. We can at least kill the scorpion. He's the one I'm out of those, those mantis. Those manti. All right. <laughs> There's only one way. That's the one I've been shooting at this whole time. What the fudge? Oh, this one's okay. So, and then there is still the Titan of Bow in here, but I'm not in this. Ah! There's a spider in there also. Holy crap. See, this is why you gotta walk up there and do tests. You gotta be a thousand percent sure before moving on to the next chamber. We're gonna safely freaking escape with our creature. Bruiser, you bastard. I can't believe you really can't get in here. What's the point of having a creature who could go underground without. With, without without being able to go underground, it's ab absolutely malarkey. Honestly, though, I'm, I'm happy creatures can't go underground. Jesus, I really need to get my light fixed. It's crazy I'm still recording in the dark. Honestly, though, it's so much nicer having a face cam sitting here in the dark in my room. Gamers aren't meant to have a bright light on their face for hours on end while gaming. It's just unnatural. There is still a scorpion lodge back there. It would be the responsible thing to do to kill him. He is weak. Yeah, I'll do it. It's good to... But, when responsibility comes to murder, it's always good to be responsible. I don't even know where he's gone. He's lodged into the depth of the mountain. All right, sweet. Moving on to the next chamber. Oh, this one's going to suck all the ass. All of, of ass of the... Hmm. I might just go with the free... There's a freaking rock golem right there. Okay, so this... I don't... <laughs> I have I have no game plan for this. This is only gonna go terribly. Whoa! Oh son of a Oh my god, oh my god. 
He's so big, he can't get through there. <laughs> Thank the Lord. He's, he's, oh my God. It's scary. Freaking Mantis in full, like, attack, attack sequence, but they can't just barely get through the door. That is a... He's getting there, though. He's, like, weaseling his way through the giant... My God. This kind of stuff is so awesome. I swear to God, all it took was a giant Godzilla nerd and, like, a bunch of ARK mod devs to actually do epic stuff, like, be smart enough. And sure enough, what you have is a survival series where everything is freaking huge. Even though it's just one all-awesome, or all one awesome mod dev, not a, not a whole bunch of people. It's just cool that, like, every dinosaur and prehistoric creature here is now essentially a kaiju. I freaking love it. I don't know how the hell my voice just got so squeaky. Okay, unfortunately, we do have a finite amount of bullets, though. I could go run back to base and crash. I didn't think I necessarily need thousands of freaking shotgun shells. God damn it! Back out through. Back out through. This is bad. Bats for operating to get through. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hug a wall. Hug a wall. Do something. Ah! The bats. Oh. There's a snail right there. It's different this time. Come, there's two of them. Oh, snake, snake, snake! God damn it! You are a serpent monster. Okay, yes, it's only level 60 though. It's gonna die. Whoa! I don't have to shoot it for a thousand hours. That's what I'm talking about. I may just no. We can't leave him alive. He's shit. Oh my god. Why don't they I can hide under the snake corpse? Clearly he was just gonna eat it with one bite. This isn't real life, Johnny, you idiot! No! Come on! Why does he have such good turning navigation in these hallways? These hall well, they were probably I was gonna say that it's like they were built for him, but it's a cave. It was literally built for. But he was built for it! Come on! No, no, no! How does he never miss? Oh my god, it's like oh, so many dinosaurs and creatures become glitchy and, and buggy when they're five times bigger with the bat. The bat remains as fierce as ever, dude. If anything, it's like ten times more fierce. I, I haven't even died from like bat aids in the survival series yet, which is usually what gets you. I just get eaten on the spot. There we go, just stay there. That's freaking perfect. I just get a little... Oh, okay, the next shot's dead no matter what. I'm gonna do it with a pistol. Extra fancy. Oh, as I walk by. Oh, I can't believe I just messed that up. Oh my God, so embarrassing. What? <laughs> you just can't let me look cool. Once in my life, Candy, for the love of God. I'm so happy that those snails are right there, dude. I honestly, as soon as I saw that elemental, I was like, yeah, I don't necessarily know like what the game plan is here. What is that? No, there's a golem right there. Are you freaking kidding me? How's that even happen? Everything should necessarily be fine. I swear to God, if, he, if one of these snails takes a step, though. Are they even fancy colored? They're kind of bland color. I don't know. This one seems to have some sort of striping going on to it. I'm really hoping you're pretty. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was like 99% sure that you couldn't even tame cave creatures. But someone said they did tame a snail in here. Which made me think that he's going to go over to the golem. Where are they going? They poured out of there. Wow, how many snails are back there? What the hell? Was that the one I was shooting? Who the hell did I shoot? What the hell's going on here? An 860, I thought I was shooting a 900. Wow, they really just flopped out of there. That was freaking incredible. I'm gonna get my cake set of this one so it doesn't tame, it doesn't aggro the golem, but it might be too late. No, hang on, you just eat all the cakes? No, okay, these cakes aren't for you. He's only level 860 and he's gonna aggro the golem. Which would mean certain death for all of us. You can go. I don't require you, buddy. I just require one of you. The highest level. I can get with the brown snail too. Ooh, what's that freaking snail in Futurama? The one that's like in charge of Slurm? Or like the mascot? That, that snail kind of freaking resembles this guy right here. And I think it'd be the most perfect freaking name ever. But I can't remember it. Any Futurama fans down there? It's been a while since I've watched it. Slurms McKenzie! There we go. Oh my god, of course. Of course, Johnny. Of course, you fool. Oh my god. Alright, sweet. Alright, buddy. 
floor it. We're getting out of here. Oh, we're flying now. Slow down. I want to get there in one piece. Jesus Christ, we don't all have armored shell backs. Can someone please provide me some, like, scientific knowledge behind this? How the hell does this snail get, like, ten feet and not instantly just dry out from the ground floor? I feel like there's no way this thing would exist in a dry desert cave. It would... It would need moisture, for God's sakes. It's like a... Or, or would it? Would it? I don't know. I love these noises. It sounds like, like, disgusting sex in slow motion. I can't wait to hear this for the next 15 minutes all the way back home. Moment of freaking truth right here, buddy. Moment of truth. Can you make it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Alright, that's it. We're adding some sort of cryopod mod. That's it. That is it. That is where I draw the freaking line. I wasn't gonna do it because I wanted to keep this series in the realm of, like, realistic, you know what I'm saying? Now, like... I don't know, I kind of like the realistic vibes. I didn't want us just being able to throw out, like, these futuristic Pokeballs anywhere, but this is ridiculous, dude. Not being able to get my style like this. the arc, really? That's how low the freaking... I'll bet some, like, PvP measures were using some dirty stuff to, like, get crazy things into caves, and they had to really fortify this wall, make it, like, nothing could glitch through this in the history of the world. Not even stuff that logically could kind of already fit through it. Like, that's crazy, dude. Like, the, oh my god, the confines around here. Bunch of freaking fascists. Now my snail's gotta be all lonely. I guess that makes sense. So, snails don't seem very social. I don't even know. I don't even know any snails. Oh my god. I haven't been outside in so long. It's so bright. Oh, what a horrible welcome. I feel like this muchacho is tough as bees knees though like this guy is a freaking bruiser is named bruiser for a reason so bruises although realistically i don't think anything would be able to kill a freaking like saber tooth those those would just be so i, I saw ice age i'm well aware of how fit saber tooths are diego kicked everyone's ass dude i can't freaking believe that he couldn't get out of that like i can't i can't believe that how the hell could he not get it doesn't even make sense he could fit what a, what a stupid adventure! At least we have them. I just get the crowd pod mod in here and that'll be fine. It's just like, damn it, now we gotta freaking employ these crazy features and Pokeball things. You're too big to fit through the ribcage, you dumb idiot. That's for people like me. Whatever, dude. Well, that was a success, successful venture as far as I'm... Well, this door is clearly not available. I forgot I have to use the, the south side entrances. Alright, we did tame a snail. It is epic. I don't want any judgment as I arrive at the base. I told all of them I'd be coming back with a big fancy ass snail. Like, yeah, go get the snail, Johnny! Woo! And now I come back all empty handed. Looking like a jabroni. Probably getting no ass tonight. This is, oh, he didn't even close that door. This day reaps a heavy toll. And it's. Oh, no, it closes this way. Science is a son of a bitch. Honestly, on the inside, these Ascendant Desert Gloves are actually like a hell of a godsend. I'm pretty, pretty happy with those. Those alone make the whole adventure pretty worth it, I'd say. But also, at the same time, what the hell? Oh. I was looking at the wrong thing because I'm stupid. If I was looking for like a really nice poop bug to just walk around base, rolling our dumps into a neat little organized pile, I gotta trust that responsibility with the real good fella. I hate the freaking launch so much. Honestly, like how I just launched with the Prolobia right that when this mod goes public for everyone to download and play with, you guys gotta watch out for that. Like the Indom is scary to use right now. This pig is kicking the crap out of me right now. How is he doing that? Flying pig? Freaking nut. Dude, there were so many poop bugs out earlier. Like there was so when I first got on the server, there was an abundance of poop bugs. And now I just can't seem to locate any around the base. It just seems kind of suicidal to tame a poop bug really far from base. Having to transport one of those little- I can't believe the fall damage. I just can't- I, it, the, the science behind it is just maddening. It's because to us we only fell five feet, but because the creature's five times bigger, it's actually 50 feet, and it's just like a total unforeseen crazy ass circumstance. But where is the poop? Honestly, though, I will say this, and I will, like, actually 100% mean it when I say it, is, uh, I think Pelovia being, is, like, the cutest, the cutest tame, like, the cutest creature possibly in the survival series, like, the fur, the freaking, the face is kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie, like, a giant Pelovia face is pretty demonic, but, like, these adorable little hands, the way it just stays, hang on. 
stay. The way he just stays, however you freaking, it's like, in the little hands for the love of God. Yeah, I mean, you guys can feel free to dispute me down below, but I'm just gonna blatantly say that I believe this is the cutest possible creature to survive. Plus the tail for the love of God. Look at the way it wiggles. Oh my God. I wonder how the hell these things stay so clean going underground and stuff. Oop! Almost just killed the poop bug. All right, what's going on, buddy? I feel like this guy might mess it up a little bit, but at the same time, he might not. Yeah! That was super easy. Probably could have done that a long time ago, but I just didn't know when it was safely to freaking... I'm too encumbered for this poor little poop. I wonder how strong a five times bigger poop bug could really be around here. Honestly, in the mainland, probably pretty powerful, but like... Against other five times bigger creatures, it's tough to say. How are we still over encumbered? Don't these things like push around giant shits all day? Like I've seen the footage. I've seen the Discovery or the Animal Planet footage. They, that's, no! Oh! You bastard. They literally, that's what they do. Giant poops, they just push them around all freaking day. There was no logical reason. What, what is it? Is it my other doogies? Ironically, the only thing I can't carry on me is my poop. I feel like it's necessarily gotta be, there's no way these things just can't carry that much. Like what? That's insane. I guess I'll just leave my shotgun. I already left my freaking shells. There's no point in, Get out of here, bro. What are you doing? You're just messing up the whole vibe. Honestly, this whole situation is way better with this TV. Actually, I should definitely freaking... Don't mind me. We still have to see if we can tame a freaking fish on this survival series. Honestly, seems like the easiest thing in the world. Because, like, of the basket being freaking derpy as all hell. And the fish... Being bigger than like a raptor? Dude, we could not have gotten a crazier freaking poop bug either. Look at these colors. Looks like a counter strike gun. Okay, I feel like weight's gonna still be an issue with you, right? Oh my god, dude, what the hell is up with this thing? This thing can hold 80 pounds. Alright, 80 freaking pounds. That's that's our limit. I haven't actually looked at it. I kept thinking I could just freaking play stuff and then eventually Oh, it's probably the wind turbine that I didn't. That's on me. That's my bad. I forgot poop bugs can't carry wind turbines. Oh, there we go. Oh, now we're flying. Wow, for some reason it seems so much creepier to me when it's large size because of its big ass hands pulling it forward. We're doing it now. We're living life. What's going on? Let's go on, Jerboa. Let's go freaking slay some bodies, right? Pile them up in this war machine. I don't think I'm actually incapable of inflicting. Oh, here we go. That fat 100. Good thing all the Jerboas are like bugged and broken around here, stuck at level one for some weird modded reason, but it's pretty good right now. We're gonna start sweating our balls off. Scorched earth we weather is hardcore. See this, this would logically take a thousand years, but like these level one Jerboas is the best freaking thing ever, dude. Oh my God. Keeps the food chain nice and balanced around here. This thing still has 20,000 health. That's such a large amount for a bug whose sole purpose is to just, I assume, gather around dookies. I'm not sure where it fits it in the ecosystem. Perhaps just like uh, spreading seeds that are dropped from dookies. Dude, damn, this wolf is strong as hell. Oh, it's a 580. Well, that makes sense. Oh, it's a 580 wolf. We shouldn't kill it, but at the same time, I kind of have to. It's gonna kill me if I freaking don't. That was sad. That was such a powerful wolf. Its colors didn't exact match like my dream wolf situation though, so that right there kind of just made me not too crazy about it, but it was still a beautiful wolf. Oh, you dickhead! I was like, is this a freaking elemental? It was just a regular. This is just the longest freaking time ever to be knocked out like this. Like, God. I wish I could just disappear underground. It sucks so bad it makes us come back up every time. I have such a peaceful life down there. Actually, this micro raptor would be a pretty freaking crazy creature to have tamed. I'm not gonna lie. If the beast can be like freaking, I guess it's gotta get one good dart off it though, because we saw those darts from the Indominus left over, which were like insanely strong, because the Indom had millions of freaking health, like some sort of super villain. Freeze, buddy. Reach for the sky! See, if I have to aggro that Capro, I'm not killing it. I refuse to kill that Capro. He's too amazing. I can't believe that didn't hit. Trust issues are built on this kind of crap. Come on, bud. Come over this way. 
What are you doing? Don't just walk into the fish. Make a move. I have no idea what this guy's doing. This micro raptor. I have no idea how he aggroed on me before for nothing, but now refuses to. But if he walks away from the capro, I don't know how that didn't hit. Stop moving, you asshole. Okay, the capro's all the way over there. We're safe. We're totally home free. I don't know what the hell was up with that guy right there, but it worked out pretty freaking well. No! What did I just do? What? Yo, I said come out! I said, I said come out! I feel like the server just has, to oh, I shot Bruiser with the freaking dart because he's like right here, but he's not right here. What the hell? How does this even happen? No! Stop eating my do I dude! Stop it! Stop! Stop doing that! Okay, well, obviously I need a terror bird, but I can't, I'm not gonna get this one. He's, we, we still have to name a terror bird Carol after a lovely subscriber whose grandma passed away, but Carol deserves better than a level 60 terror bird, all right? She is the matriarch of a family who is owed respect and love and gratitude, and that level 60 terror bird just ain't gonna deliver it. So I don't know, I feel like the server needs to be reset to get Bruiser back out, absolutely. Wait. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Can I just ride you, buddy? I'm underground. Oh, swing! Dude, you got beat to crap, bud. Like to crap and crap. Beaten really bad. Also, I thought you had some prime meat on you. I'm a little disappointed. I was kind of hoping you did, bud. Who around here would drop it, but also poses no credible threat to my beautiful life? Oh, I'm going for it. I'm freaking going for it, even though you're purple, which would honestly be the coolest color of any Paris forever. You're also level 100, jabroni. No, the capra went back to the water. I can't aggro him, because then one of us will have to kill each other. That simply can't happen, because he's too amazing. Although he is painfully freaking close, but he keeps wandering off in other directions, giving me little increments of hope. Like right there, that's a big fat increment of hope right there. Look at this creepy ass creature. What is that? What blot out the sun? Oh, it's just a moth, Jesus Christ. It's scary when moths blot out the sun. Is there another one? All right, buddy, are you gonna be good for just one second while I run this guy back to base? Cause I just kind of need to accumulate everyone over there. I feel like this might be the best way to get around. Absolutely, cause it's not really gonna take fall damage, right? Dude, this thing is fast as hell once it opens up on the road. They're still so damn small though. But like, what an incredible annoyance. I guess it's just our incredible speed. This might just be the best land speed or boat or transportation. Although, with the right amount of upgrades, it could see being pretty damn fierce. I appear to have started more than one confrontation I was not necessarily prepared to get into. Oh, this thing actually shreds, dude. Oh, these are all just super low levels. Hey, maybe a bit of both. Because, like, I don't think this Terror Birds, I mean, this uh, Microraptor is necessarily the highest level thing either. Unless it is. Ooh, actually, it's pretty damn strong. I just love this. Look at that open up on the freaking freeway. If only there was more straightaways. Oh my god. See this kind of crazy. Is there any way to freaking take charge or do we just launch through the air now? Oof. So much is on the line. Thank god I dismounted right there. But it does look incredible. The second freaking row of feathers especially. Dude, real talk, I don't even want to tame a freaking spider until I have the crowd pods in here. Like, there's- that just needs to be a thing. I'm not- I'm not leaving- I'm not, like, taming another epic creature and then just leaving it stuffed at the entrance of the cave because I'm unable to extract it. I feel like that's exactly what'll happen, and, like, if that happens- I guess the snail does necessarily need company. It just get those kind of stupid taming a bunch of creatures and leaving them just, like, stranded far away because they're simply too big to get out of the cave that they're in. I'm just gonna get a freaking crowd pod bond here because I don't know if I can necessarily get them this at this point in the game. Might need like some modern assistance, but like it seems to be a, like a situation that necessarily calls for it because otherwise we're not gonna get anything at home. That is just a fact of science. 
I mean, let's not overshadow the real winners of today. Actually, no, that snail is freaking amazing. I do love it. But I overcumbered again. I hate you. I hate you, stupid poop bug. I get it, though. Look at this thing's mouth. I always love looking at mouths of, like, insects that are made five times bigger because you don't expect them to look that terrified. You're like, wow, I've never noticed how... Like, even this one, look at that. It's like a giant row, just like a cutting saw blade of, like, pincer-type rows of, like, teeth. That That's scary as hell. I feel like you're already scary as a giant one. These things would lead to an apocalypse. It's a pretty good combination. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up here. If you guys had a good time watching, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!